It's Arlen here from Load King. I'd like to welcome you all to our first edition of Trailer Talk. Today we're going to be featuring the new AHV B train. We'll be giving you a complete walk around as to some of the features and benefits we have on this current trailer. Today I'd like to introduce you to Earl Reimer. Earl is the guy that's going to be doing the walk around on the AHV B train. Uh, Earl's is the voice you hear on the phone when you call and order one of these babies. And uh, we'll just be doing a feature presentation today, Earl. Yes, we will. And some of the key items that set us apart from some of the other competitors and some of the sales tools you guys are going to need in the field to sell these trailers. One of the first things that you'll notice when you walk up to a Load King trailer are the smooth walls. Absolutely, utterly smooth. One of the great things about that trailer is that you land up having a very easy time washing the trailer. Another benefit that you can also notice almost immediately is the high belt line. That's another benefit that is going to be talked about a little bit later on. But one of the most significant features that you see when you look at the trailer is the fact that the lead and the pole are exactly the same height. Earl, as I was looking at this trailer today, I noticed something that seems to be unique to me is the amount of ground clearance we have between the bottom right. of our hopper yeah. and, and the ground. That's right. The high, Why is that? The, the high belt line offers us the opportunity to take and provide a ground clearance that's in the neighborhood of about 27 inches to the bottom of the chute and then to the bottom of the lowest point, the bottom of the bearing, we're at about 24 inches. So pretty well any swing auger that you could have in the factory or in the, that could be offered would fit underneath that trailer. So that's quite a significant uh, benefit that we have. Another nice thing about the hoppers that we have, if you take a look at the corners, each of the corners and the hoppers are utterly smooth. There is no impediment to grain flowing on the inside. Earl, another thing I noticed on our trailers is, right. is the angle of our chute shafts. Uh, that's for additional clearance. Right, that's a real benefit as well for anybody who's in the business of trying to unload the trailer. When a swing away auger is placed underneath, then the chute shafts are positioned in such a fashion that they will not interfere with that unloading auger. The other thing I, the other thing I noticed was the fact that uh, these are stainless steel shafts. Right. There's no more paint on these things, so you don't have the rock chipping and, and uh, the appearance will remain this way for years to come as well. Typically what happens when you're driving down a road, at least in, Can in the Canadian environment, is that rocks have a tendency to want to jump up and bounce off of things. And take paint along with it as well too. So the stainless steel shafts, the aluminum hoppers, all are going to be resistant to that particular type of environment that we travel in here in Canada. Let's move further back to the trailer. There's a few other features that I'd like to show to our viewers today. Absolutely. Another thing you'll notice is the amount of room we have between our two trailers. We slope both the back wall of the lead trailer and the front wall of the pole trailer to allow you more room, number one, to get in to open your tarps and it gives you a great access to walk in. You can carry your coffee up here and don't even spill. I know you guys are all on the road working hard so coffee, you guys are probably drinking it while you're, while you're untarping your load. So. Here we go, we're going to show you how this all works up in here. Okay, another benefit of having the two sloped walls is the fact that the, the ladder is leaning more against the, the side of the trailer, meaning you don't have to crawl straight up on a ladder. Makes standing up on this ladder a lot easier. You'll notice the large catwalk we have once you're up here to allow you the access into the trailer. I'll just open this up and we'll have a look inside. Notice the room that we have between the two trailers. Another thing you'll notice about these ladders as you come up here is that the top of the ladder does not have a corner of any description. There is nothing on here that is going to ever cause you to catch your trouser leg on it or something on the way down. So, although it's not significant, at the point when you don't catch your trousers, the moment that you would, that certainly has a little bit of a consequence to it. You can see that there's a grab handle here, there's a grab handle on the other side just where Arlen is, and so it's very easy to take and be really secure 
when you're coming up onto the trailer. The next thing that you'll notice if you take a look into the hopper is how smooth it is all the way down. The probability of grain hanging up anywhere is fairly limited. Uh, you of course see the steps that are in the hoppers. There are steps along the edge of the wall to take and make it easy to get in. Steps all the way down to the center of the hopper and then all the way back up the divider wall and then down along the other side. This makes clean out really easy. For folks that want to do a really pristine job of cleaning out their trailers between loads makes access in and out of the trailer really easy. Another feature we have as an option, actually we have two fender options on this trailer. We have both a flat fender or a half round fender like you'll see today. Some of the advantages of the half round fender, you'll see the step fits in nicely in between the two fenders, allowing you a great access like we showed you earlier. For added safety on the half round fender, on this fender we add a grip material to allow you additional traction when you're crawling on this unit, especially in the winter or if it's raining. You'll notice that we shield between the two fenders to stop debris from coming up in between the two fenders and just keep everything down on the bottom side of the fender. The tire max inflation system allows you to keep equal tire pressure in all of the tires and it's something that just gives you ease of mind as you're traveling down the road. You're not worrying about balancing or equalizing your tire pressure. This system does it all on its own. Another nice feature that Load King offers the user is protection underneath the front and the rear of the trailer. Typically, most trailers don't have any sort of protection outside of the fenders over top of the wheels themselves. What Load King offers is closeout sheets under the front and under the rear of each of the trailers. It prevents all sorts of material from building up. It's especially useful in winter time where typically you have an awful lot of road grime combined with snow and ice and it can build up to well over a thousand pounds in some of the more worst conditions. Closeout sheets prevent that. Trailer protection is something that continues to be pretty important for us at Load King. And another way that Load King protects, uh, helps protect the hoppers and the sides of the trailers and also passing traffic is with full width, four in a row mud flaps. If you take a look at this particular vehicle, you'll see that the mud flaps in fact extend all the way out to the very outside perimeter or the outside edge of the trailer. That happens on the lead trailer and also on the pole trailer, full protection. Continuing with the protection theme, uh, if you take a look underneath the trailer, ahead of the suspension, you will see that there's a huge piece of brake pot belting placed ahead of the brake pots and the axles. And it extends down as low as we feel we can go without scraping up on the road itself, and then as high as we can physically go. The entire rear axles, the entire axles are protected. Okay, we'll talk about a few features that uh, we have on the back of the trailer. The one thing you'll notice is all the lights that we've got here. We use truck light lighting and this unit is equipped with our option B package and if you talk to your local dealer he'll explain how many lights you get in this deal. But this is a great lighting package. Someone following you should be able to see you in the dark. Something you'll notice in the back of the trailer is we've allowed you a, a nice low step to, to allow you to get onto your uh, entry step into your hopper. Should you ever get stuck, this, this tow hook will allow you a good pulling capacity to, to pull this trailer out in the event of uh, some misfortune you have in the field. One last optional feature that we do have in the back of the trailer for uh, the states or provinces that require, we ha also offer a long load sign that just flips over, pins into place. This sign uh, is easy to use. You just flip it over. There's no hinges to rust or, or seize up on you. No canvas flapping against the nice finish you have in your trailer. And it'll last you for years. It's an aluminum composition. And if the decal should ever fade, that too can be replaced. Okay, I'm on the curb side of the trailer and the other thing you'll notice is that we have chute cranks as an option on both sides of the trailer. This way if you've got a uh, hopper swung in this side, you don't have to run around to the other side of the trailer to, to open up your chutes. A great feature to save you some time. Okay, that wraps up today's uh, session of Trailer Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, walk around on the HV train. 
Please check back to our website as you'll be seeing these updates coming on a regular basis as we go through our complete trailer line. We look forward to seeing you again and uh, talk to you soon.